going to do the actual valve lash adjustment. Engine has to be cold around uh, 70-75 degree Fahrenheit or 20-25 degrees Celsius is, is I think good. We remove the top, remove all the spark plugs, to pull the spark plugs out as I showed, use the spark plug cable itself, just go through the hole and plug it in pull it out after you uh, loosen these spark plugs. You don't need a special tool to pick it up anyway, as I said. Now Honda turns, Honda engine turns counterclockwise. So this is uh, number one. Use the I think this is, I uh, can't remember what's the number of this socket. It's hidden 17 or so, I think. 16, 17, 19, something like that. 18, maybe 18, 18 millimeter. I'll be turning the engine with this. It's a lot easier. Uh, you can crank, as I said, crank and bring it almost to the top. Uh, then use this one for minor adjustment. Leave it there. Put this long screwdriver through it. This one is down. It should come up. The crank. Yes. There's the top before it starts going down. This is the top dead center. Now the exhaust and intake valves will be adjusted. Exhaust will be 0 0.007 to 0 0.008 inch. Intake is 0 0.006 to 0 0.007 inch. This is H22A, A1, A4, I think, uh, Honda. On the engine and uh, the uh, anyway oh yeah wanted to show you the spark plug uh, show you this uh, tool as I said instead of buying the special tool you can always use a 10 millimeter socket grind it off on one side make a hole shave it towards the top so that the screwdriver can go on right through it straight like this while you uh, use the ratchet to tighten it nice tool hopefully it'll work let's see first time So number one is at TDC, it's checked that the cam lobes are facing up, like this one is facing up, this one is facing up, so is the other side, so is the intake, you can see the, yeah. both of the lobes are facing up. You see the piston right there at the very top. So now this is 0 0.008. Measure the gap right there. There should be slight drag. It's very difficult to get it in. I have to. We have to leave this on. So this is way too loose. It's going like freely. There should be some drag. You 
can also measure this gap right there. So that's another right here. It's way too loose. Once you tighten this, this loaf comes up and right now it's it's very loose. And put it back in there. So loosen the lock nut, loosen the lock nut and adjust for both of them and then go back to the intake. Should move with slight drag. Sometimes it's, it's better to tighten it a little more so that it doesn't move well and then loosen it. Find the sweet spot. Like right here, it's about right. It's getting in with some snugly fitted. Yeah. Now I'll be using that special magic socket to tighten it holding it right there. So this is how it will go in. Space is very tight. Either the socket goes this way or 180 degree reverse so fits right into that and hold that bolt with this flat head and tighten the tighten the socket without moving the flat head and also we keep the filler gauge in there so that we can after it's done we can make sure that it's not too tight or too loose still okay I found it's a bit easier actually to use a long needle nose plier when I uh, hold that bolt with a flat head and use the long needle nose to tighten the knot slightly without moving that flat head and keep the filler gauge there so after tightening then we use the 10 millimeter socket to retighten it, tighten it properly and make sure the filler gauge is not stuck inside, it's still moving snugly. So finish number one, adjusted in uh, intake, which is away from the exhaust manifolds or intake. The camshaft that's near the exhaust manifold are the exhaust. So these are at 0 0.008, between 0 0.07 and 0 0.08 inch. This is between 0 0.006 and 0 0.07 inch. Now, next cylinder, next piston to come at the top dead center would be the number 3. Because the firing order is 1, 3, 4, 2. That means 1 first, then 3 will come at the top as we turn, then 4 and 2. So, we'll uh, turn the crankshaft until the next one comes to the top. At the same time, we'll see this one will go to the top position and then adjust it again. Number one. At the top dead center also all these four marks one two three four those four white marks it's good to mark it at first they're all aligned they're all aligned almost uh, aligned to the um, to the head surface that, uh, that little surface there 
So one mod I made with the filler gauge is found that it's uh, very difficult. It gets stuck with this with the bar there. So cut it in uh, half with a shearer and without damaging the edge. So it's a narrow filler gauge now and it worked a lot easier accessible. So we'll move on to the next one. Finish the exhaust. So this is what uh, snugly fit means. So it's going in, coming out, but there is some drag. This is at the maximum actually, like this. You can feel a little bit of drag. Make sure this is not turned, twisted too much. If it is, it can actually give a wrong angle and <clears throat> wrong idea of uh, snugly fitted. Okay, hope this helps. So put the spark plugs back in, finish all four spark plugs back in, cover it, and then uh, ready to go.